just having my myoclonic jerks, so I thought I would record them for y'all so y'all could see them. Um, I don't have them all the time, but um, sorry if my chair is squeaking. It's because I move when I have them. Um, I don't have them all the time, but they are a little painful. I have like this tightening sensation and like a pulling sensation kind of like in my neck and it goes from my neck through my shoulders I don't know if you heard that but sometimes they make my neck pop um, which is um, I feel like it's dangerous I'm worried something might happen and I um, like snapped my neck wrong one day but I definitely hear it popping <laughs> so um this is just how I am I guess when I have them I don't um like I try not to have anything in my hands because I can throw them I could throw it across the room. Um, I've thrown my phone across the room before. Um, I was trying to make mac and cheese once and I like ripped the um, paper off like the whatever the fuck it is and then when I had it I threw it across the room an accident. Um, um, so, it's annoying. Like, a lot of the times when I'm bringing food to my room, even if I'm not having them, I'll put them on the, like, my walker and bring it to my room that way because I can get them ram randomly. Like, I get them all throughout the day, but I only kind of get them this bad. Um... Like back to back to back for a few like an hour at least throughout the day so it's not like this all the time um but i'm just hanging in there hopefully i think wednesday we might find out what they are because my clonic jerks is just a symptom diagnosis but um we won't know until then so thanks for watching this video Please give it a like, a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much. Bye.